In this unking video, we're going to talk about how to avoid ease hell, which is basically doing way more cars than you actually need to be doing to learn that material. Okay, I very recently did some uh, very unofficial uh, research <laughs> to try and figure out what was going on. This is my classmates, and as you can see, we've all done roughly the same number of cards, except for this person who's clearly pulling too many cards. And here's the average for what we were actually doing. You can see these people are doing a lot more cards than these people. And I was trying to figure out why, because we were all doing exactly the same material uh, using the exact same decks. So what I found in orange here, I've highlighted all the things that are uh, pertinent to this. You can see all of these people graduate their cards at one day and these people graduate at three days. So if you miss a card the next day after learning it, it doesn't matter. And as you can see, they're doing significantly less cards. They also have a relatively high percent correct for young and mature cards, so they're not missing their cards as often. As you can see, this person who is doing the most is hitting again on their cards more often. Now this one is how often you're hitting the hard button. And as you can see, the people doing more tend to hit the hard button more often. In, in this case, they're hitting it way more often, resulting in an average ease of their cards that is significantly decreased. So that was kind of my unofficial research. You can play with that with what, what you desire. I wanted to show you what I meant by this. If I go into my statistics, you can see how you personally are doing. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, and you'll see what I mean. This is the hard button. The number two is the hard button. Number one is the uh, again button, so you can see how often you're hitting those on learning cards and on mature cards. Uh, if this bar is really high, then that might indicate that you're hitting hard too often. And if that's the case, maybe you need to trust the algorithm, hit good more often, or you can try things like burying or rememorizing. Uh, let me show you how you can do that. So if you're in a card here that is somewhat difficult, you can't remember it, you can hit bury. There's a shortcut down here to bury the card. Uh, you could bury and hit hard the next day, or you could hit rememorize. There's the rememorize add-on. I have a link in the description of this video to how this add-on works. But you could send it like a week in the future without changing the actual interval. So that's definitely something I think is worth looking into. I think one of the biggest things, as I showed you earlier, is the settings. If we go into my settings here, mine is set to 1440 for one day and it graduates at three days. So I think that that actually works better because it allows you to do that. I'll show you an example here. Uh, there's a card that I know I've missed many times, and I think it, it is a good example. I'll go right here, and I'll look at my info on this card. You can see what happened as I was learning it. Uh, you can tell on the first day I missed it one, two, three times until I finally got it right, and then the next day I missed it again. But because I hit again and then learned it the next day, it didn't decrease the ease. Had I missed it the next day and my settings were not like this, they were set to graduate it one day, this would have decreased and I would have seen the card more often forever in the future. But as you can see, because I learned it really well at the beginning, I have not missed it since it graduated. And that's a good example of how this card should work. So that is why I think those settings are best. Uh, if you don't know the settings, you ought to watch our video on recommended settings. The other thing you can do, I'm going to go back in here and oh, not letting me back into my card. The other thing you can do, we'll make a flashcard here just as an example. Uh, if you do have a card that has a bad ease, you can, with the Rememorize add-on, uh, reset the ease here. You can change the card factor. You can reschedule it. So I can go in and change the factor to whatever I want it to be if I need 250 to reset it. Or alternatively, if you are like this person and your average ease is 191 on all your cards, you already have caused quite the problem. Uh, I did find this website that has an add-on to reset the ease on all of your cards, uh, so you can do that. Uh, and I'll link this in the description. The other thing you can get is the C card info in Reviewer. I have a shortcut for it here. It'll show you this. You can see the ease of your cards to see uh, how you're actually doing on those cards. You can also see what you've done on the past with hitting again or hard or good each time. So those are my recommendations to avoid ease hell. Hope that helps. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as well as follow us on Instagram and Facebook for daily tips and tricks at On King Med. 
Also, here's the email if you have any questions or suggestions for new videos.